First for you at 4 o'clock, the Mississippi High School Athletic Association upheld their penalty 10-3 to on the Forest Hill High School Band. Thanks for joining us. I'm Margaret <coughs> Ann Carter. WJTV 12's Gerald Harris joins us in studio to explain what the punishment entails. Gerald. Margaret Ann, the ban is on restrictive probation, which means they are not allowed to march at a MHSAA sanctioned event. However, they are allowed to perform in other ways. JPS school officials, city leaders, and state lawmakers appeared at the Athletic Association to show their support. However, the district's lawyer, Forest Hills principal, and athletic director were the only ones allowed inside the meeting with the board members. When announcing their decision, the executive director, Don Hinton, said it's about the safety of the students. It was an inappropriate uh, uh, performance. Uh, during an MHSA sanctioned event that, again, I think I spoke to the safety of the students that were on the field, the response that could have been, the responses from the, the, uh, the crowd or the, um, the local police department that was there uh, could have been, uh, it could have been, it was serious. The controversial halftime performance at Brookhaven involving Forest Hill band members using fake guns to act out a movie scene around the same time two officers were gunned down prompted the appeal in the subsequent meeting. The lawyer for the school district says they will continue to fight on behalf of the students. She did not go into detail about what next steps they could take. There are, no, there are two football games left this season where the band could play in the stands. However, some JPS officials say they don't expect the band to travel to their next away game. The band will have an opportunity to play at home for the last game of the season on senior night. We will hear from JPS school board members coming up at 5. Margaret Ann, back to you.